Today we're going to go over how to add volumetrics to your scene in Redshift for Cinema 4D. In front of me I have a simple scene that I put together over the weekend that I think is a good example of volumetrics. It's nighttime, you have a car with the lights on, you can see a very light fog and haze in the IPR window. Uh, it just adds a little bit more character to your render, makes it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and realistic depending on the scenario you're trying to render. But let's get started in an empty scene. So before me, I have a very, very simple scene with no lights and just a bunch of cubes and a plane. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a redshift environment to the scene. And the next thing I will do is add an area light. So now we have an area light shining onto our simple cubes, no volumetrics yet. Once we've added an area light, we're going to go to the volume tab of the area light and turn up the contribution scale very slightly. I'm just going to change it to 0 0.02. Immediately, you will start to see volumetrics in your scene if you have a redshift environment object in your scene. It's important to remember. Now, as you can see, this is pretty overwhelming at the moment. So we're going to go to the redshift area light and just bring down the intensity multiplier We'll just put it to 10 for the sake of the tutorial. Now, if you turn up the intensity, you'll get more volumetrics. If you turn up the contribution scale, you're going to get more volumetrics from your light. If you're getting a lot of noise in your scene, you can turn up the samples per light. If we head over to the Redshift environment object again, we can play with our general volume settings here. So for one, we could change the color of our volume. I prefer to keep my color on white. The more scattering you add to your scene, the more dense your volume, volume will be. I'm going to keep it at the default value of 0.1. As you start to turn up the attenuation, your volume is going to become more dense, and hence you're not going to see as much light passing through. The more phase you add to the scene, the less light will bounce around inside your volume. And if you go to a negative phase value, you're going to get this interesting backward scattering effect from the light. At some point, hopefully I'll cover this in more detail, but to be honest, I fully don't understand phase at the moment. So that was a quick intro on how to add volumetrics to your scene in Redshift for Cinema 4D. We could go into a lot more detail, but for now, we're just going to leave it at that. If this was helpful in any way, please throw me a like, and I will see you in the next tutorial.